Today, I'm going to be attempting a challenge that a lot of 2K YouTubers have done and few have succeeded at, the 82 and 0 challenge. Now, for this challenge, I'm going to be doing my 82 and 0 rebuild in the Kobe era. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I think it is the easiest era to potentially go 82 and 0 in. There's certain players who are absolute cheese in the sim. I'll have a chance to draft guys like LeBron James, and I'm going to be running with the Orlando Magic. Now, let me explain why the Magic are my go-to team. You see, they have Tracy McGrady, and T-Mac is on a six-year contract, meaning that he'll be with us long-term. And also, he is absolutely broken in the simulation. It is ridiculous the type of numbers he puts up. So, we're going to keep him around. He's only 23 years old as well, so that's another good part of having McGrady on the team. But as for everybody else, I'm going to be trading all these role players on the team in an effort to get more and more picks. Mike Miller's a guy who, yeah, low-key would be decent to have around, but if I can get a three-and-a-half star pick, I would much rather have that pick than have Mike Miller. Now, I'll probably cut out some of me trading these role players for picks. I'll just pause the recording real quick because you know around here, we, we don't really edit for real. But what I'm going to do is do these trades. But I want to tell y'all what went down this morning, man. I woke up, you know, as you do. And usually when I wake up, I'm a hungry boy. So I just go, oh my gosh, bro, Sean Kemp's uh, contract is trash. But usually when I, when I wake up, I'm real hungry. So I just wake up and immediately get my breakfast. But today I was feeling different. It's 8.22 in the morning and I'm recording a 2K rebuild. But I took a sip of water, man. And that water, I swear to y'all, it went straight down to my soul. It, it was incredible, man. That that sip of water before I had ate anything. I still haven't ate anything. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna eat some once I uh, finish this video. Do y'all care? Probably not. But yeah, uh, once I finish this video, I'll probably eat some. But um, yeah, bro, that sip of water. If you know, you know, man. That first sip of water in the morning goes straight goes straight down to the abyss of your soul, and it, it just tastes so good. So. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I think some of y'all might be able to relate. Also, thank y'all so much for all the support on the video. We hit 1K yesterday. We're already at 1.1K now. That's what I'm talking about, man. Well, let's keep it pushing, man. Let's go for 2K. Why not, bro? I appreciate y'all. But now I'm going to finish up these trades and then we'll come back. All right, so I've done a wonderful job of building a terrible basketball franchise around Tracy McGrady. But let me tell y'all, if McGrady is going to sit on the bench the whole season, we're going to have to have team chemistry off. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. So his relations won't go down. He won't get mad. But what I'm going to do is tell Team Mac, you know what? This is for the good of the team. You're going to take a seat all season for 65 overall, Rolando Cunningham. I know, Team Mac, I'm sorry, but we need to lose a bunch of games in order to try and go 82 and 0 down the line so that's what i'm gonna do and yeah let's go ahead and get to the end of this season hopefully we will be absolutely trash it looks like that's not going to be a problem though we're losing a lot i just realized we were losing all these games and mcgrady found his way back into the rotation i think i automatically adjusted the rotation but we're still losing so many games so you know what we'll let it rock mcgrady can play some games because it doesn't seem to matter considering how garbage the supporting cast is around him. Guys, we made a miracle turnaround and got to the playoffs. No, I'm lying. We were absolutely terrible, man. But Tracy McGrady, he averaged near 40 because there was nobody else on our basketball team who was going to score points. But now it's time for our NBA championship, the draft lottery. It's coming up, and we need a good pick. We land number one. That's what I'm talking about, man. So already, we're going to have a chance to draft my glorious king. Great start to the video, right? But I would like to draft at least one more of the main guys, like D-Wade or Melo, maybe even Bosh, but I kind of got my sights set on D-Wade and Melo. Bosh is good in the sim, don't get me wrong, but he's just not up there with those other guys. All right, so how are we going to do that? We don't have any good players that teams would really covet, in my opinion. I, I think that nobody would really be too interested in Bob Sura. So we're going to trade Bob Sura for a first-round pick, and then we'll also try and trade these other guys because I don't want their money on the books when it comes down to free agency. Hopefully we can finesse a pick. No, I'm not taking on that dude's two-year deal. But yeah, this will work for me. We'll go ahead and get another pick. 
Now we're set up with 20 million in cap space. Oh, we got some more guys taking up our money. Yeah, Junior, get off my team. We can get a second round pick. Okay, great. So now we got a bunch of guys' money off the books and we got some more picks as a result. So what I'm going to do is go for, I actually, I'm going to go for the third overall pick and I'm going to take whoever of D Wade and Mello falls to me at three. Now, in order to do this, I'll offer up 13, I'll offer up 21, and I'll give you 26. That's right, I'm being real generous. And you know what? I'll throw in the eighth pick, but I might actually take out one of these, see if it still works. No, they won't take that. I'm not giving y'all number one. That would have been a bad mistake. I'll give y'all 21, and great, we just trade our extra picks, move up to number three, and we'll take whoever falls to us, whether it be Dwayne Wade or Carmelo Anthony. And honestly, I'd rather have Wade because he's a two guard. He'll fit well within our lineup. All right, great. The draft went according to plan. We got LeBron James. We got Dwayne Wade. So that's a great start to the video for sure. Now we're going to have cap space for free agency. And I can't mess this up, man. I think that the one guy who I really need, y'all should probably know by now if you've seen some of the videos, you know Gilbert Arenas, he's him in these videos. He might be the greatest player to ever be in a 2K Kobe era sim, bro. Y'all just have to see. He's going to become ridiculous. So we'll most definitely give him a four-year contract. And then I'll see what money I have to play with afterwards. But I'd be perfectly happy with just signing Gilbert Arenas because Arenas is that good. And I'm confident in my ability to go out there and build in the draft afterwards. But how much money do we have left? We've got about eight, nine million that we could go out and spend. Now that's enough to get a player like Desmond Mason or, you know, some solid players. But I think that a better idea might be to just go out there and get some decent role players. Maybe like Hito Turkoglu. Give him a three-year contract. How about Jeff Foster? No, he wants too much money. Earl Jenkins, old reliable man. He's a guy who I've signed in a lot of these sims, auto-generated player. We'll go get this Mirza dude. We'll go get, okay, we can't offer George Brooks right now, but we'll offer him in just a second. We're going to offer a bunch of these guys. And the plan is, you decline me. Hold on, let me give him a little bit more money. All right, there we go. Oh, I, I forgot to offer it, dog. It, it's early in the morning. It's, it, it's 8.32, all right? So y'all can't even blame me. But we're going to go ahead and just throw offers to a bunch of these guys. Down the line, we can trade them for more picks. Obviously, this upcoming season is not going to be the year that we go 82-0. and I just want y'all to keep that in mind. Don't get your hopes up and think I'm the greatest ever. I'm not going to be even attempting to go 82-0 and this upcoming year. But a few years down the line, once we really get into it, that's when I'm going to start really making my attempt. Now, this season, I think we can be a playoff team, which is a solid step in the right direction. We probably need a good big man, but Dwight Howard's coming into the league soon, so he's the guy who we'll probably target. All right, let's go ahead and get into another season. Shaquille wins MVP, Melo Rookie of the Year. Man, I thought Braun would be able to get it, but maybe the issue was Tracy McGrady is just too nice. He ended up averaging about 25 a game for us this season. Maybe I should have gone after Melo, tried to move up to that second pick. But checking out the stats on the year, oh, I accidentally did the per 36 minutes stats. There we go. Okay, so T-Mac led the team in scoring. Brian gave us about 20. Gilbert gave us about 20. And Dwayne Wade, I mean, about 13. Okay, we won 61 games on the season. The priority of this video is not to win an NBA championship. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through this pretty quickly. We're in the finals against the Lakers, and we actually beat them. Shaq won finals MVP despite us winning, but that's a great sign. I mean, we're already winning championships, and I don't think this team is half as good as what it's going to be a couple years down the line. Now, checking out the draft lottery. Do we, okay, what, what year is this? All right, it is the Dwight Howard draft. Why, why is Dwight Howard ranked eighth? Why does it say, oh, hold on, man. No way people are going to draft Devin Harris over Dwight Howard. What, that just distracted me. What picks do we have to work with here? We don't have any good picks. Uh-oh. So we're definitely going to have to trade up because I would like to have Dwight Howard on my team. Now, first of all, we got to worry about this expansion draft. Now, this is where it comes in clutch that we got some of these players when we drafted them, right? Or drafted them, signed them, right? So we can just go ahead and let go of Aiden Duramenko and uh, Gene, Gene ja Jameson. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and let go of them. And then we'll move on to the NBA draft. Now, remember, I signed all those players before. I've been emphasizing that because now we can go ahead and talk 
to whoever has the number one pick. We'll offer them a glorious trade package of all these role players, and we'll just try to get the number one pick easy. Now, the thing about going 82-0, and it's not going to be a realistic rebuild. Who do y'all think I am? If I could somehow realistically make an 82-0 and team, I would be in an NBA front office, not sitting here building my virtual basketball team. Let's be real. So, let's go ahead and see. But man, don't take that in some type of way, man. I love doing this for y'all. This is so much fun. But, but y'all get what I'm saying, right? Let's go ahead and see if we can move up to number one. Unfortunately, they didn't have the money to take on some of our bad role players. I was hoping they would. But we'll offer them all these picks and they say no. So we're going to need to get some more valuable picks. None of our picks really had a ton of value to them. We didn't have good ones. So we'll try to move up, maybe get some a little better. We could go get Michael O with candy. Okay, we can get two first for Hito. We'll most definitely go ahead and do that. And I'm going to just do that same process with some of these other role players. Just try to get more first, two more first round picks. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Sorry, Mirza, we're going to have to trade you as well. I'm hoping some team will offer me two more picks. Yep, there we go. Y'all see how broken 2K's trade system is. And low-key, I would prefer it if 2K came up with a bit of a better trade system because it'd be a little bit more fun to do rebuilds. Now, obviously, you know, there's definitely an element of fun to go out there and build the most unstoppable team. And 2K definitely allows you to do that with the way their trade system is, right? But I think that it would be pretty fun if maybe they had a more realistic game mode. Maybe they had a mode where it was, maybe there was like difficulty levels to it. Hold on, I'm cooking right now. Let me cook. Okay, so what if there was like difficulty levels to rebuilding? Like, you know, when you select your difficulty in my career or whatever, what about before you enter my MBA, they say, oh, what difficulty do you want to do this rebuild on? Is Dwight Howard even worth all these picks? You know what? I, I don't know. We got the third pick though. And what I'm going to do is see if he actually drops to like what? They said he was going to go eighth. Devin Harris actually goes first. Second is Lula. Okay. Well, we didn't even need to trade up any higher. Yeah. Give me Dwight Howard, bro. Gladly. We'll go ahead and take him. But yeah, imagine if they had a My NBA mode where it was based off of like sliders like there was different sliders different difficulties that that'd be pretty sick to me i don't know let me know what you think about that if somebody at 2k is watching you can have my idea but uh you know maybe dm me on twitter or some i'll send the cash app and y'all can give me a little bit of money for it at least like you know enough to get some vc oh that's another thing I'm thinking about starting up a My Career series. I'm probably, I, I want to know y'all's thoughts on it, but as some additional content on this channel, I'd still be doing the rebuilds and stuff, but maybe just to keep things fresh, you know, have another thing I'm doing over here. I thought it'd be kind of cool to go out there and do some My Career stuff. I mean, y'all have seen me play the game. I I'm a bit challenged in terms of gameplay. Don't get me wrong, but I think it could still be a really fun idea to go out there and have like a my career series i mean let me know what y'all think maybe that's something that they left back in like 2004 but i think it could still be fun and i know some people do also do my career series and what i'm thinking is the first episode of the series would essentially just be me making my player build like i'm not gonna look up oh best glitchy dribble dribble legend nba you know you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna look up a build video i'm not gonna run from the grind when it comes to making my build i want to actually go out there and get my hands dirty make my own build and see what i can do now here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna make some type of small forward build right i want a guy who can play on the wing can dribble can shoot is a dynamic type of player i want him to be strong now maybe i'm describing the greatest player of all time and obviously there's some constraints within making your 2k player the player builder is pretty tough but what if i could do that that'd be pretty cool i could make a player who's pretty dynamic could do a little bit of everything maybe sacrifice some of the defense or something because like you know who cares about defense and i probably wouldn't go online i just play some my career chill talk to y'all a more laid back format kind of like this where i'm just playing the game you know having fun i posted a community poll about it and it seems like quite a few people 
would be willing to watch me play some in my career. And I also had a little Twitter post. If y'all don't follow me on Twitter, I think my, my ad is like Danny2KYT or something like that. So if y'all want to follow, y'all can. If you don't want to follow, you don't have to. Usually I'm just tweeting about YouTube stuff, maybe some basketball stuff here or there. You know, no, nothing too crazy. But we got Dwight Howard on the team. I didn't really realize when we signed Jamal McGlure that Dwight, that we just drafted Dwight. That was kind of an oversight of mine. Maybe we'll move Jamal over to the power forward. Oh, and Dwayne Wade was coming off the bench last year. Uh, Dwayne Wade, yeah, you're just going to have to take a seat on the bench, buddy. But yeah, Dwight is going to start in his rookie season. That should be optimal for his development. And next year, Chris Paul's coming into the league. We'll probably try and draft him, have him come off the bench behind Gilbert Arenas, be our backup PG. So yeah, that's the plan. I don't think this year will be close to 82-0, but I'll entertain it. We started off the season 8-0. We're 9-0. Do I have any good stories to tell y'all while we're sitting here? Oh, never mind. We lost. I'll try and think of one later. All right, so the season is wrapped. We won 71 games. We're really nice, bro. What can I say? We're one of the greatest teams in basketball history already, and y'all haven't seen me really get deep in my bag. So can y'all imagine, like, a couple years down the line? Oh, it's going to be ridiculous. LeBron, he's taking a leap. Gilbert was great. D. Wade was much better this year. Dwight, solid rookie campaign. Jamal McGlure, he was terrible. Get ready to pack your bags buddy and yeah that's pretty much it for this season we're gonna see if we win the championship I don't have any doubts this is my squad I put them together we're gonna win come on I'm proud of y'all we did our thing we won the championship and now it is time for the draft lottery this is very important I hope we can land Chris Paul who is this guy Keon Howard, auto-generated dude, 81 overall. Oh, he's about to become Tom Sanders. All right, we're good. So let's go ahead and go to the draft lottery. Let's see if we can land number one. No, we land number nine, number 11, number 24, and number 29. All right, so kind of a cluster of mid-picks, basically. But you know what? We can work with that. I definitely want to draft Chris Paul. I mean, when you talk about championship teams, they almost always have Chris Paul on them. So we got to go ahead and make a move for Paul. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We go ahead and get that number one pick. Who has that pick? It's going to be the New York Knicks. So let's get them on the phone. Oh, they can't take on all this salary. Okay, we'll start off the package with Jamal McGlure. We'll throw in number nine. We'll throw in number 11. Let's see what they say about that. They still say no, but don't worry. We got 24. They still say no. That's fine. We got 29. Ooh, rhyming accidentally. Maybe I have a future in rap. Ah, ha, ha. All right, let's go ahead and also throw in our pick next year, and that goes ahead and works. And now we're picking at number one. Y'all already know we're about to draft Christopher Emmanuel Paul. We've also got pick 30. Oh, Andrew Bogut. Yeah, sure. Don't mind if I do. I'll go ahead and get Andrew Bogut on the squad as well. That's great. We'll pick up the team options on LeBron James and Dwayne Wade. And then checking out the qualifying offers. Yeah, we're, we're all good on Caillou. We'll go ahead and let him go. Sorry if that's a real dude. My bad. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to free agency. Do we have any money? Unfortunately, we do not. Bro, I clicked on Shaq. Oh, I guess I pressed the wrong button. All right, there we go. Let's see. Yeah, Shaq would be low-key interested if we had the money. You can see even on a big pay cut, he's kind of interested. But unfortunately, we do not have the funds to go out there and get Shaquille O'Neal. Now, do we have a bunch of role players, though, signed on these like cheap deals? Because maybe we could trade them and clear up some money, potentially. I mean, this looks like a decent amount of money on our books. Maybe we could clear some up. Oh, it's Gary Trent. Y'all know Gary Trent Jr. from the NBA? Who's in the NBA right now? This is his dad. Oh, huh. That's interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and trade some of these guys. Oh, two first-round picks. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that for sure. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for these other two guys. We just need to clear up the money. Two more first. Yeah, again, that, that that's an easy trade to take. Now, I could trade Bogut to try and clear up even more money. I mean, let's be honest, is Andrew Bogut about to become like an NBA legend in the simulation? Probably not, so it's not too big of a loss. We can get two first, but I don't want to trade any of my picks. We'll take these two mid-first round picks from the Lakers. We probably just help the Lakers get better. But regardless, do we have more money to spend now? Oh, we don't. 
Well, well, that was stupid. I wasn't looking at the numbers right. We, we definitely didn't have money to spend regardless, so that, that was a mistake. But anyway, let's go ahead and try and sign somebody in free agency. We could sign Vladimir. I'll offer him a three-year contract. He's going to take that. Okay, great, great, great. And then we'll probably just go get like some minimum guys potentially. See who's out there. I'll just throw minimum contracts at players because y'all can see that that really does benefit you in these rebuilds. I mean, teams, I I've just been able to go out there, sign these random dudes to minimum contract. So accept my offer. You are jobless. Take my offer. What? What? What is this problem? But yeah, I can offer these minimum contracts to these random dudes. And then in the off season, I can just go ahead and trade them. It's, it's really that simple. You know, the 2K cheese. That's really all I'm doing, man. I'm just cheesing the system here in 2K. We'll sign those two guys. You know what? We'll throw an offer at Jotty White and boom. All right, great. So that's pretty much it for the off season. Oh man, we've already got 490 pluses and I think Dwight will become a 90. Same thing for Paul. So we should have like six. That's great. And we'll just keep it pushing. We'll try and try. I don't think the 06 draft is very good, but maybe we'll draft somebody. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we're starting to get really close to going 82-0. Now, this is usually the toughest part. When you're in those high 70s of wins, breaking past that barrier is super difficult. But we went 77-5, and so we, we did absolutely great. Shout out to my king. He won MVP. And uh, who won Rookie of the Year? Marching Gortat? Th that is ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs. Y'all already know. It's about to be an easy NBA championship. We're coming off a 77-win season. LeBron wins finals MVP. All right, time for the draft lottery. And we don't even land a top three pick, bro. Oh, my goodness. But checking out the draft... That's probably fine. I, I don't really want any of these players, respectfully. But, yeah, I think we're just going to skip out on this one. Maybe, low-key, a move could be trying to, like, trade for another player. Maybe a guy like, oh, no, the team options just expired. I was going to say maybe I could try to trade for, like, Melo. But, yeah, as you can see, Bron and D-Wade's team options are already up. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and make a few moves here. So, here's what I'm thinking. We got pick 10. Don't need it. I'm going to go ahead and trade that. I'm aiming for two first. We get that from Memphis. Great. All right. We've also got pick number 19. If I could just get another first round pick for that, that's fine. Same thing for the 21st pick. I'd be down to just trade that and get another pick. Okay, great. So all of that goes according to plan. We'll take this 07 pick from the Clippers and we're all done there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade some of these other guys. Shaman Williams and Charles Smith. Yeah, y'all can pack your bags. Give me two unprotected first for those guys. Yeah, that seems like a no-brainer. We'll also throw Jahidi White in the trade finder. Give me a first-round pick unprotected. Yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we're done with the draft. We're done with all that. We traded some of our players. We've got all these team options. I would be dumb not to accept them, so we're going to bring those guys back. Then we'll head to free agency. Do we have any money for free agency? No, we do not, which is fine. We can go ahead and use our mid-level exception. We low-key almost have enough for Marcus Camby. Would he take a one-year with a no-trade clause? He actually would. Now, maybe this isn't the smartest move, but he might be able to help us reach that point where we're going 82-0. That's a solid addition. Now, I don't want to skip out on the rest of free agency, even though I almost did. I want to actually offer out, offer out some of these minimum contracts, as I've been doing. I feel like that's a solid game plan to go ahead and do. I mean, if we can sign these players on cheap deals, trade them down the line, that always pays off. So we're just going to go ahead and do that with like three different players. All right, great. That's all done with. Now we're going to head to player progression. Hopefully, Bron's like a 95. He is. Gilbert's a 95. D-Wade's a 93. Paul's an 87. Dwight's an 85. Marcus Camby will be our backup. Five and an 83. Yeah, we're looking really good. Let's get into the season. The 07 draft is coming up, which means we're about to add KD. Bron Bron, another MVP. Now, I'm going to give myself a deadline on this video, okay? Now, what I mean is I'm only going to go a certain amount of years. I'm going to give myself until 2010 to go 82 and 0. So, right now, we're in 07. By 2010, I want us to go 82 and 0. Or we'll fail, and I didn't do it. But regardless, we win another NBA championship. We continue to do our thing. Hold on, I'm going to pause the recording, bro. I'm about to sneeze. How did I just get clickbaited by a sneeze? I really thought I was going to sneeze and it didn't happen. But anyway, we got the fourth pick, fifth pick, sixth pick, tenth pick. Or those are the odds. Let's see what we get. We end up landing at five, six, and I guess some of the picks were protected. All right. 
So we got five and six. That's a great starting point, good baseline to go out there and try and trade for number one. Because y'all know Kevin Durant, K. Dizzle is in the draft, bro. And we got to go out and get Kevin Durant. So we'll trade five and six for sure, bro. I don't have a problem going out there and doing that. You're talking about Kevin Wayne Durant. And they're going to say no. That's fine. Do y'all see the plethora of picks we have to work with here? I'll throw in number 28. I'll throw in number 29. Oh, wow. That was all it took? Oh, oh okay. Well, that that was easy. You know that little button people used to have? And it'll be like, that was easy. Yeah, that was really easy, man. We go ahead and make the trade. And that's great. So we'll go ahead and trade another one of these picks. And then we don't need 18 and 22 as well. So we'll trade those. We get two more first. Great. Fine. Yeah. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the NBA draft. The Orlando Magic are on the clock. That's us. We're going to draft Kevin Durant at number one. Boom. Welcome to the squad, KD. He's going to be a beast for our team. We'll also pick up the team options on Paul and Howard. Checking out the qualifying offers, we got Bron and D. Wade about to enter restricted free agency. But is this that much of a worry? Not really, because you consider the fact that we can basically just throw all the money at them and it'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, Gilbert's a free agent. I didn't realize that. We'll throw all the money at him as well. And he's going to leave. Oh, no, 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 no. I just gave him a max offer. Is there anything else I can do? Now, let me tell you, if you go over here, you can try and throw another offer at one of your guys if you want to. But I think I gave him all the money I could, but he doesn't want the offer. Okay, well, things could really get ugly here. I I'm kind of worried. I'm sorry I had to do this to Miami, but it it's going to have to happen. Here's the game plan. And th this is cheesing the system for, for sure, bro. I'm not going to act like I'm not cheesing the system. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the most expensive player who's absolutely trash on one of these teams and trade for him and then trade him to the Miami Heat. That, that's the game plan. Yeah, I know. It, it's a little scummy. We're about to absolutely cook the Miami Heat. You know what? Nick Van Exel will work for what we're trying to do here. I'll throw y'all first from the Heat. Just give me Nick Van Exel, man. Oh, my gosh, bro. Are y'all really, really about to be like this? I, I also give you Scott Paget. Um, they still say no. They think they're a championship contender. Is Nick Van Exel moving the needle that crazy? I'll give y'all two first. All right, there we go. Great. We go ahead and get Nick Van Exel. Van Exel's making what? He's making he's making six mil. Then we throw in the salary of Vladimir. That's going to add another four mil. We also throw in Jerome in here, and that's going to add a little bit more money. Then we go ahead and call up the heat. We say, you know what? Run me two first round picks. And we'll call it a day. We'll give you all these incredible, uh, life-changing basketball players. And they go ahead and take it, right? And now, they aren't going to have the money to sign Gilbert Arenas. It isn't that tragic. Oh, no. They can't sign Gilbert. Why are they telling me to renounce the rights on Dwayne Wade and Gilbert Arenas? Why would I ever do that? Oh, my gosh. What What is 2K talking about? All right. So, we'll go ahead and bring back um, Gilbert now. Because I think if I go ahead and check right here, his offer should be gone. The way! Oh my gosh, I give up man. You know what if you want to leave us so bad you can leave Gilbert You, you, you broke my heart Gilbert. I, I can't believe this man. This is absolutely terrible. He, he's gone. We, we lost Gilbert, bro Okay, well that throws a wrench into things for sure I mean we could go get Jalen Rose. Can we even afford Jalen Rose? No, we can't we can't even sign the guy Kobe dropped 81 points on wow This is terrible. This is just awful. I can't believe we lost Gilbert Arenas. We can't even get Wendell Caffrey. Are you joking? Give, give me goggles legend Kirk Heinrich. All right. Oh, no. We can't get Kirk Heinrich. Oh, oh, it's okay. Y'all are going to. Oh, my gosh, man. I, I woke up actually like genuinely real excited to do a 2K rebuild today. I, I didn't even eat my breakfast yet. Do y'all understand? I, I didn't even get to eat my breakfast. I, I was so excited to rebuild. I was like, you know what? I can eat breakfast later. Now it's 9.04 a.m. I'm hungry, and I just lost Gilbert Arenas. This is terrible. 2K might have just ruined my day. We could get Jarvis. Is this the guy from Fortnite? Literally insane, Jarvis. All right. Uh, no, we can't get Jarvis. I'm done with free agency, bro. I'm, how y'all make me rage quit free agency? Oh, my goodness. This is what the team's looking like. We're not as good 
good without Gilbert Arenas. Now Steph Curry comes into the league in, what, 08, 09? So we'll have a chance to draft him down the line. We'll, we'll definitely do that for sure. So that should help a little bit. But I gave myself the deadline of 2010, and that deadline is looking real ugly now considering the fact that we're in we're about to be at the 2008. We're about to hit 2008, right? And we just lost Gilbert. Oh, my gosh. Did y'all see that quote that Darvin Ham had where he was talking about Tyrese Maxey and he was like, it's like trying to contain a Lamborghini. I don't know what bro was talking about, but but that might be the worst quote from a coach in, in, in a minute. I, I don't know what he was talking about, what he was cooking, but the Lakers, they're actually pretty decent. I don't know why everybody's been out there like, oh, Lakers are trash. Bron was talking like he wanted to trade half the team tomorrow, but like they're really not that bad. I, I'm checking the standings on my phone right now. They got this in-season tournament thing on my screen. Lakers might be the greatest in-season tournament team of all time, but regardless, Lakers are 10 and 8 right now. They're they're above 500. We're early in the season. They have injured players. I don't know what people are worried about. Regardless, Bron wins MVP, KD Rookie of the Year, Dwayne Wade Six Man, Bron DPOI, Chris Paul Most Improved. We just won every award. Dog, I'm him. People do challenges where they try to do this. I wasn't even trying to do this, and I still did it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go ahead and get to the playoffs, though. This should be easy. We won 75 games after losing Agent Zero, bro. Yeah, we might just be that team. So we got to go ahead. Wait, it's T. Oh, oh, bro. I didn't see T Mac at the top of the screen. I thought T Mac had left. He's about to be a free agent. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the draft lottery. Let's see if we land a top pick. Nuggets got two, top two. Oh my gosh. They got top two. That's crazy. But we went ahead and got the third pick. Derrick Rose and the Brody are in this draft. I'd love to have one of them to replace Gilbert Arenas. Hopefully the Nuggets don't draft both of them. They draft K-Love. Okay, great. So we'll just go ahead and draft the Brody. Awesome. Now we have a bunch more picks though, and I do not want any of these. Oh my gosh. We have so many draft picks. I'm not going to waste y'all time. I I'm just going to go ahead and trade all these picks. They'll give me Andre Miller, 85 overall. Hold on. Hold on. We might have an opportunity here because we've got some cap space open now. How many players? No, we got to bring back so many players. It's way too risky to take on all that salary. I was going to say we could low-key go out there and trade for some guys, but I think that's actually a really bad idea because what could end up happening is we use up a lot of our salary cap and we're just absolutely cooked. So I I'm not going to do that. We'll get this really good pick via Sacramento for one of our picks. We've also got 12 and 13, so we'll trade all these. I'll come back to y'all once they're all gone. All right, man, all the picks are gone. It's clear Derrick Rose was the better player than Russell Westbrook in this draft. Maybe I should have traded up to one. But regardless, we're, we're too late now. I mean, I could trade for Derrick Rose, but I guess I could try, but I don't feel like it. So we're not going to do that. We got to bring back Dwight Howard in restricted free agency. We also, of course, have to bring back Tracy McGrady. If McGrady leaves us, bro, I, I, I might just you get mad. Okay, he goes ahead and stays on the team. See, that's literally all that that man, uh, who was it again? I can't even remember. Gilbert Arenas. That that's all he had to do was re-sign with our team. He could have become an Orlando Magic legend. He could have been a part of something special here in Orlando. An attempt to go 82 and 0. An attempt to be a dynasty. But instead, he said, "Oh, I'm gonna leave," and he left, which sucks. But you know what? It is what it is. You take an L. You just gotta come back and and try, try again. You know. So that that's exactly what we're gonna go out there and do. All right, so let's go ahead and just sign some of these players. Y'all have seen me do that before. And we're going to go ahead and go to player progression. Now, checking out progression, we got a lot of guys on the up and up. We don't have a ton of time left, so I'm starting to get a little bit worried. We got to go till 2010, which means next offseason will be the last offseason of the video. It's time to lock in. We're getting into crunch time. We got to dial in for the end of this video. All right, man, 77 wins on the season. Another beautiful year of Magic Basketball. But next year is our final season, so it's time to dial it in. We've won so many championships in this video, by the way. But I was thinking about it while the season was simulating, right? And if we draft Steph Curry right now, how much is that moving the needle? If this upcoming year is our final season, sure, a rookie Steph could be helpful, but you know what might be more helpful? Trading all these picks to get as many roster upgrades as possible. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
even a guy like Russell Westbrook might low-key be expendable for this roster when you consider the fact that, yeah, he's going to go up in overall, but he might be like maybe like 83 at best if we get lucky, and we could probably get like an 85 for him, or we could get the second pick. I don't want the second pick. We could throw in the sixth pick. Nobody's offering me anything. All right, so maybe this won't be as easy as I thought. I could try and trade Dwight Howard in pick six. I, I just want somebody better than Dwight, but it doesn't seem that there's any offers like that i mean amari he'll probably progress higher than dwight he uh no he's actually older so he probably won't oh man i thought this was going to be pretty easy and i could just make a few trades but let, let me think about this develop a game plan and we'll move from there y'all are gonna have to hear me out here this is a two this is a one for two player trade right so i'm trading one player getting two players back so i'm gonna go ahead and do this right then i'm gonna take jameer nelson who is a solid player he is an 86 overall try and trade him get another better player we could get mike bibby he's an 88 that's a decent improvement there so that that's the way i'm gonna try to move here with these trades we'll see if this ends up working out the way i want it to we could get luol dang solid wing who could defend for us we've got a good amount of wings though we're pretty stacked at almost every position low key but I think this offer for Kwame in the 10th pick isn't bad. So we'll go ahead and take Kwame. I mean, Kwame's a couple high, a couple overalls higher. It's weird seeing Kwame Brown at an 88 overall in this simulation. Kind of funny. But uh, you know what? When people say stuff's funny, it's not funny anymore. So I take it back. It's not funny. All right. We could get Sharif Abdul Rahim and Drew Gooden. I'm not seeing any really good two player. I mean, this isn't bad. We'll do it. We'll get Paige and Keith Bogans, right? Now we've got a few more players. We've got a deeper bag of players here that we can go ahead and throw into the trade finder. So now we've got Mo Pete and Keith Bogans, right? If I throw pick 10 with Mo Pete and Keith Bogans, can I get an 85? No, I can't. I can get Brooke and Speedy Claxton. Yeah. Okay. I thought this was going to work out better low key, but you know what? We'll keep moving. We'll keep trying and hopefully eventually it'll work out. We could trade Peja for Kwame back and we also get Keon dueling. I don't know how much Keon dueling moves the needle. We could get Jameer and Jermaine Jones. That's not a bad trade. We get an 81 overall. So see, we're low key stacking up our depth here. And what if I do Mo Pete, Jermaine Jones in a first? Can nobody give me like an 85 for those two players? I guess not. Maybe I'm gassing it. I thought this was going to be a trade package that would get us somebody crazy, but I'm most definitely wrong. We could do Russ, Jermaine Jones in a first. Nobody's going to offer for that. How about Russ and Jermaine Jones? Well, anybody? Oh, okay. No, I don't really get that. How about Russ and Mo Pete? Russ and Jameer? No, nobody wants the Brody. Nobody wants the Brody. Come on now. How about if I just throw Russ in the trade box? Nobody wants you? What is going on? All right. So now, hello. Uh, man, this is so tough, bro. We've reached that point in the rebuild where I'm trying to figure out anything I can do even to just improve marginally, and that makes it difficult. We could get Karam Butler. We could get Luol Dang back. We could get Kwame back. I wouldn't be opposed to those trades. I mean, getting Kwame low-key might be the move, which is a weird thing to say, but yeah, we'll, we'll go get Kwame once again. So Kwame's back on the team, 88 overall player, and now we've got some solid, decent bench pieces here as well. We got way too many small forwards on the team. So I could trade two of them. We could get some more guard depth. We probably need more bigs. This Brooke Lopez and Speedy Claxton move low-key makes a decent amount of sense because Brooke will probably progress. So we'll go ahead and do that one. All right, great. We got Speedy Claxton. We got Brooke. Now our depth low-key looks ridiculous. But if I trade Speedy Claxton and these two first, will anybody give me anything crazy? We could get an A. I'm looking for an upgrade in overall, and it looks like at least as of now, that isn't there. So I'm going to trade these two remaining first-round picks. They'll give me another first, sure, whatever. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and just simulate to the end of the draft, right? We didn't get Steph Curry. It's kind of whatever at this point. We'll go ahead and go to team player options. We'll offer that to Kevin Durant. We got to offer the qualifying offer to Paul, and this should be easy. We'll just bring back Chris Paul, match this offer. Great. Stress-free stress -free, free agency, right? We do that. Now we should have a little bit of money to spend. No, we just got minimum. So there's no point in even entertaining anything more with free agency. We're done. We're moving through that. All right. Now this is what the team is looking like. We're absolutely stacked, man. But I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I went out, if I didn't go out there and try and see who 
isn't untouchable, right? If we go to these teams, see who's not on the untouchables list. Andrea Bargnani, he could low-key be a good player. We need a center. We got Brooke Lopez starting at the five. And Brooke Lopez, he's a fine player, but I would low-key like somebody better starting at my center. So we could look at that. We could also look at Carlos Boozer, 91 overall, solid player. Again, we could try and trade for him. Chris Bosh, another option in the front court. We'll, we'll look at him. Is there anybody in like the mid 90s who is an untouchable? That that's most definitely probably a reach. But if there's somebody available, that'd be sick. Elton Brand, he's not untouchable. I don't really want Elton Brand. I mean, we've already got quite a few big man options. I'm trying to see if there's any like 93s, 94s who teams are willing to give up on. Andre Karolinko, he's a good wing. So we'll actually look at trading for him. Tony Parker and Tim are untouchable for the Spurs. Vince Sanity is untouchable. So, yeah, nobody in the mid-90s, which is fine, I guess. But, you know, I, I was just hoping we could find something. But let's go ahead and look at some of the players we added to our list. We've got Bargnani, Booz, Chris Bosh, and Andre Karolinko. I think that Carlos Boozer was the highest overall, so I guess we'll start there. What team was Carlos Boozer on? I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you. All right, there he is. He's on the Miami Heat. 17 million. We can match that with Kwame, but I, low key, is Kwame a guy I want to trade here? I mean, we're getting a pretty decent upgrade, though, at the power forward position, so I guess Kwame is the guy. Now, we can't match salary. Oh, we're over the hard cap. This is going to make trading like a million times harder. I'm just going to have to use Trade Finder because making your own trades when you're over the hard cap is just an absolute nightmare. So instead, I'm just going to look for trades like this. I trade an 80 and a 78, I get two 80s. That, these are the type of trades I'm going to try and do. We'll try and fill out every single position and move from there. Russell Westbrook, I've been looking to trade you for a minute, bro. I, I know. I would love to have you on the team low-key, but ooh, we can get Brandon Roy. See, these are the type of trades I need. Well, Marcus Aldridge, oh, I got a whole new idea. We could get Rondo, Chris Paul. Have y'all seen that video? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we could get Rondo. That's actually a great offer. Yeah, Rondo in an 88, I can't pass up on him. But we can also look at going out and trading for LaMarcus in a little bit. He's on the Mavs. And then we'll also talk to the Hornets about Brandon Roy. Okay, I got a whole new game plan, bro. Here's the plan. We go to teams that have players on rookie scale deals. And we just try and trade with them. Brandon Roy, 86 overall, only making $4 million a season. So if I throw T. Riz in the trade finder, that already matches the salary. Then we just got to fill it up with picks. Boom, three first, we're done. Oh, oh, we're so back. So I just sorted the trade finder by players making a match. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like eight million, right? We sort by players who are making at most eight million a season, right? So we've already got Rondo on the team. I want to talk about Lamarcus Aldridge with the Dallas Mavericks. How much is he making? He's making six million this season. So if I throw in, uh, should I throw in Brooke? I could throw in Jamal McGlure, and then will it work if I throw in um, Milt? in this trade no it doesn't work 698k will they be able to take on three players no they oh dang it dang it dang it all right, all right, all right. We, we can work this out though i could do brooke but then i'm trading two players for one but i mean he's at 89 i feel like it's low-key worth it but i would like to get back somebody who's making some type of salary how about al horford this doesn't work 918k oh my gosh man they're, they're really they're really annoying me today how much is al horford making once again let me let me see let me see he's making three mil i mean could we take like tyreek all right cool 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 if we could do this i'd be happy now it's not gonna work without picks but dude we're in the final season. We got a million, million, trillion picks, right? So I'm just going to throw all these in here, as many as possible, that'll fit in this trade, and we'll call it a day. All right, four first-round picks. They still say no. Uh, okay, I thought this was going to be an easy trade for LaMarcus, but apparently not. How about if y'all give me one of y'all scrubs? Okay, it worked out. All right, we got LaMarcus Aldridge. Now let me see how this roster is working out positionally. We're good at point guard. We got the best buddies, Chris Paul and Rondo. We got T-Mac and D-Wade at the two. We also got B-Roy at the two. We've got our power forwards, but center is trash. Okay, so we low-key have too many two guards. We've got B-Roy, we got D-Wade, we got T-Mac. So 
Could I trade Brandon Roy potentially for like a better center? I was really ecstatic to get Brandon Roy. But I guess if it's for the better of the team, if I could get a decent center, that, that could be the move. But it doesn't look like anybody's popping up. Now, Bargnani, I think, is still on his rookie deal. So maybe Brandon Roy's the guy we trade in a move for Bargnani. So let's go ahead and see. He's making 8 mil. Oh, that, that's going to be kind of tough to match. All right, let's see what we can do. Wait, actually, we can really easily match this with Brandon Roy and Jamal Vincent. So this already matches salary-wise, and I have a feeling they might just take this. No, they won't, but we need a center. So I'll give y'all two first-round picks for Barnett. Dude, just take the trade. I'll give y'all every pick. All right, great, great, great. We got another center. Now we've got our point guards. We've got our two guards. We've got our small forwards. we got our power forwards. And we got one center. So all we need is a backup five. And we're in business, bro. All right. So who's cheap at the center position? Is there any cheap fives? Brad Miller making 14 mil. Big Z. Oh, okay. Joe Keem's probably the guy making 4 million a season. Can we even get there? How do we get to four? Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get to four mil. Oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to match this. All right, let, let me see if they can cook up anything for us. If I just do trade finder, they got anything. Yeah, that's the problem. I would have to trade players like Rondo if I want to get Joakim because we just don't have the money. How about Al Horford? No trade offers. How about Brooke? Can we get Brooke easily? No, not at all. That's the salary, the hard cap is becoming a problem. Marcin Gortat, he doesn't have a job. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to try to figure something out. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this trade. We get J.R. Smith and we get Al Horford, right? And my thinking is Al Horford will run the backup five. Then I'm going to trade J.R. Smith for a backup power forward. Now, we're running low on picks at this point, so I could probably trade these guys and just restock on picks. We'll get a first round. I need, like, two. That's literally all I need. And in the world of 2K, getting two first-round picks is real easy. So I should be able to do that. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little cocky because nobody's offering me any picks. We'll take Eddie House. Hopefully, I can trade him for a pick, right? So here's the thinking. I'll trade J.R. Smith, try to get another pick. Man, it's 9.30. I haven't even ate my breakfast. I'm so hungry, bro. I just want to finish this off. I want to go 82-0 and 0 so bad, though. Y'all can see y'all can really see i'm locked right now i'm trying my very hardest to go out there and make these trades so how about jr smith two first this should be able to easily get us a solid power forward i'm not even asking for anybody crazy iggy he's a two guard we don't need a two guard we need a power forward is tim thomas the guy he might have to be the guy i mean he's an 84 that's good but could i trade him in the first we just got from the bucks for a better power forward is that a possibility it doesn't look like it so i guess we're rocking out with tim thomas that's going to be the team man 10-man rotation is what we're going to run here. That should make a perfect rotation, I think. Yeah, I mean, it looks all right. We got Al Horford. Okay. I mean, yeah, man, this team's good. Chris Paul, T-Mac, Braun, LaMarcus Aldridge, Andrea Bargnani, D-Way, KD, Rondo, Tim Thomas, Al Horford. This is a great basketball team. Let's run it. Game number one of the season is a dub. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here with y'all for all these games. Even if it's all 82, we are 47 minutes deep in the video. I'm invested, and if you're this far in the video, you either fell asleep watching it or you're at least a little invested. So I I'm going to sit here. One point dub against the Bucks. 13-0. Come on, bro. I want this so bad. I can't even explain it to y'all. I, 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 oh, my gosh. All my years of doing 2K rebuilds, I've never once been able to go 82-0. We're 19-0. I made it this far before, though, so I know not to get too hyped off of it. 21-0, 22-0. Oh, bro, 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 bro. I'm freaking out. 23. All right, all right, 24. Oh, okay, this is low-key taking a while. Maybe I should pause the recording, but I want y'all to see my live reaction if we either get this or we don't get it. So I don't want to pause the recording. 26 wins. We're, we're getting kind of deep into it. 27 wins. Hold on, I'm going to take a little break, and I'm going to come back to y'all. I just had to pause real quick because I was getting tired of talking, bro. Sometimes when I'm recording for a long amount of time, man, it, it just feels like I'm just yapping for a good minute, and my voice gets tired. I need I need to just take a quick breath, take a second. So I had to stop, but we're 30-0, and 0, dog. Dog, this is ridiculous. This might be the best 82-0 and 0 attempt that I put together. Like, in terms of the team that I have right now, our team is ridiculous. 
32 and 0. Oh my gosh, man, I I'm getting so nervous. 33 and 0. Come on, man. Let's make it 34 and 0. Well, okay. Let me give y'all some small talk while we're going through these games. What are y'all thinking about the in-season tournament? Now the bracket is set for all the games. I still don't fully understand how they set it up or what happened, but you know, the in-season tournament, there's been some great basketball games as a result of it. So I think it was actually a huge dub by the NBA. Shout out to Adam Silver if you're watching this. Uh, salute, you know, you did a great job. You went out there, you cooked up something that people thought maybe wasn't a good idea. We're 37 and 0 by the way, but you cooked up something that some people thought wasn't a good idea, but you went out there and you did it and people didn't believe in you, but you believed in yourself. What am I talking about? All right, come on. One more, one more. 39 and 0. We just need to keep going. Keep it pushing. I'm going to have to pause this recording, bro. The Sims taking a good minute. All right, I'm going to come back to y'all. And if we lose, you're just going to hear me like yelling, yelling my, my mind out. So you might want to turn down your volume. I knew it was going to happen, bro. We, we lost. I knew we were going to lose, bro. I just knew it. We lost to the Miami Heat, man. Oh, my God. Man, that that just makes me so mad. Watch us finish the season 81 and one. I, I oh my gosh, 2K. Whatever, man. We lost a couple more games, 79 and three on the season. I think it was a valiant effort, and I would say this is the best team I've put together in a 2K game. I, I'm proud of myself, man. I got to give myself a pat on the back, a little participation award. So yeah, that, that's where we're going to wrap up the video. I'll show y'all just uh, us winning the championship because I assume we're going to win and we do. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for all the support on the channel. Thanks so much for 1K. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. That's my bad. I'll probably mention it at the start of the next video. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.